Mississippi show anyway. Well, we got anybody oh, in here right they, now? Nobody. Oh no, they've been chit chatting for a while. Uh, have they? Why? Why do I not see this, dude? I logged in like ten minutes ago, and they were like Megatron. This new person, the sickness, Riz is on. Um, we've all been all been chit chatting. Yeah, but the thing of it is, I show zero viewers. But the thing of it is, I show uh, zero viewers. Maybe. But the thing of it is, I show uh, zero viewers. Ah, uh, there we go. Had to turn the volume off on that. There we go. Yeah, had to turn the volume off. Yeah, turn the volume off. Wearing my appropriate hat today for my building. God. You know, I will say this though: G plat is easy to work with when it comes to building. Makes life that much easier. What's going on, guys? Hello, everybody. Never mind me. I'm just building. Can you guys hear Tex? Can you hear me now? I can't see the chat. It's not moving. I see you've got three people in here right now. Yeah, I don't see no activity. I mean, they're t they've they were talking, but there's no telling how long ago that was. Yeah. Because it doesn't look like it's moved since since I, I logged on. No, who knows. We'll just sit here and chit chat then. While I go ahead and build my build here. Come on, they want to go in there. Who loves parallels? G plot parallels. Thing of it is, though, is that this stuff's really not. What's going on there, Tex? Um, yeah, this stuff isn't really. Um, hey, Jules. It's not really G plat, though. It is, but it's by a different name, so I'm not going to call it G plat. I don't need freaking. So it's a gene generic brand G plat? Pretty much. <laughs> There's warnings. We're not, you know, we can't be held responsible for, you know, the. Killer flavor and this and that, and whatever, all that bullshit. I'm like, eh, whatever. So, come on, why won't you go through now? Yeah. You were doing really good, and now you're being a pain. Why? Why do you want to go in there? Go to your home. Go to your home. Come on. What are you going on here? Get in there. Damn you. I think I gotta turn my base off. And go freaking spit on it or something. There we go. Nope, son of a bitch, one of them. Damn it. Damn parallels. Yep. I hate parallels. There we go. I think I got it now. Doesn't negate the fact that I still hate parallels. Thought you said you love parallels. I do when I'm competing. <laughs> and they serve a purpose. And you guys will see here shortly. Kind of purpose these things really serve. Tighten you down, tighten you down, tighten you down. What's going on, everybody? Is there anybody talk? Okay, to just Jules. Hi, Jules. Do 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 do. Build, 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 build. Can we build it? What's up, self-made? What's going on, brother? Don't mind me. I'm just kind of sitting here building in coils. Self-made. Welcome to the party. Hi, self. <laughs> Can you hear me, Jules? Well, dude, uh, if they can't hear you, asking them. Oh, yeah, she can hear you. Good. Ooh, she's angry. Oh, she's angry. Whew, this son of a bitch is going to be hot. Whew. I don't know about this, Tex. It's going to be a warm one. I can tell just by the way it's firing, it's going to be warm. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's see this shit. Damn. It's not my proudest setup ever when it comes to parallels, but I didn't have much time. But they fire. Damn it. They fire well. 
as they should at point zero eight. Woo! <laughs> They're still smoking. See this? You see smoke? <laughs> yeah. That's these. It's just smoking. Heating up. It's getting so hot. Yeah, I know, and that's the thing. That's a that's kind of the thing you risk when it comes to this this G plat type wires. You heat it up too much, it will it'll break. Uh, that's, that's the same with any metal. Yeah, Copper, but, aluminum. Yeah, but you know the thing of it is though is that G or not G plat. Um, you know conventional canthal is much better about it. You know. Ouch. Whew. It's heating up for sure. Pinch. Still smoking. I like up and smoke, Jules. That's my favorite one. Oh, smoke. God damn, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You break it. No. Might be able to solve it. Oh, shit. God damn it. So that's the other thing you deal with when you're dealing with this type. Ah! When you deal with this type of wire, is that when you're pinching it, you got to be very gentle. Otherwise, you will roll itself over top of itself, which is exactly what has happened here. So now I get to build a new coil. I don't know if you can see this, but come on, come on! I know you want to focus. Would you do lose? No, you lose one of the legs. No, did it? It rolled over top of itself. Oh yeah, I hate when it does that. Yeah, so when you're sitting around and you're pinching coils and whatnot, especially when it comes to this really soft wire, you got to be careful. Because uh, if you're not, what will end up happening is you will roll that. It'll you'll roll it on top of itself, the end, and it's not good. So there we go. All right, get to wrap another one. So I'll just sit here and talk for a few minutes. So what's going on there, uh, Tex? Where's my wife? There it is. Same old, same old. Been busy working, busy working, a little vaping. Do my roommate and I come home today, and he's like, "Man," I'm like, "What, dude?" He's like, "Dude, you got like eight boxes in there." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Were you expecting anything?" I was like, "A couple things." I am like, getting like a book. I got the Goblin. I got juice. I got that juice you sent me. I haven't tried that yet, but I will here shortly. Um, the ju it, it, sh it showed up? Yeah, it showed up. Wow. Yeah. It 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 and then, um, you know, so I got that. I got the goblin. I got juice. I got juice from uh, Greg. Um, you know, it just, you know, it, it just a bunch of stuff. And he's like, man, you're getting kind of famous with this, aren't you? He's like, were you expecting anything? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> Oh, what the hell's going on with you? Your connection's slowed out there for a second. Hey, what's going on, Michelle? Glad to see you at your phones. are letting you click. Oh, blah, blah, blah. If I can talk, connect now. I'm sitting here trying to concentrate on this parallel. I'll be damned. It did a... Huh. Because I did it. I sent it off Saturday... Right, right when I text you the tracking number is when I set it off, so probably around lunchtime. Oh, you got a mug from... Oh, that's awesome. Rock and Roll Museum. Sweet. I don't think it's a Rock and Roll Museum. I don't have a bestie that would do that for me. I've never been to the Rock and Roll Museum. I get bestie that's that same I'd, juice, though. I'd send you a mug. And as much as I love coffee... Three. <laughs> I'm going to send you a mug with my mug on it. Four. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm losing count. Five. <laughs> Six. All right. There we go. Six to wrap, 24 gauge, dual parallel, and I probably shouldn't have said that. Anyway, yeah, that's what I'm building tonight, guys. Point zero eight. But I'm, use I'm being safe. I've got these new batteries here. Um... These are... Did I just twist that? I did. Son of a bitch. Gotta hate parallels. That's why I only build them when I compete. So I'm using these tonight. These are like, I don't know, stupid amperage. 2800 milliamp hour, 35 amp. 
They look like Duracells. Yeah, they do look like Duracells. And, um, you know, I've never used them before, and I, I walked in here and I forgot my batteries in my car, and um, it's pouring down rain, so I, I grabbed these and I'm just kind of borrowing them. But at the same time, I get to go and check them out. You know, they're, they're a little bit expensive. I don't know if they're worth it or not. Hey, Matt, what do you think about these sub-ohm cells? The only thing we felt like about them is that they're thinner than the Samsung, so like putting it in a high-end, it's not like one of those, like, whoop, so you get, like, sideways battery. Oh, okay, so they're a little bit thinner, apparently. Um, it's probably the wrapper than a conventional um, 18650 battery, so if you're using a tube mod, you might get some sideways rattle out of them. But that's the only thing they're saying they don't like about them, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those things you deal with, right? Because, you know, this is the vaping industry, and everything we are doing in this industry wasn't made to do. So when you look at the batteries, I'm pretty sure when the 18650 battery came out, somebody wasn't saying, hey, you know what? These would be really good for electronic cigarette one day. Yeah, my buddy tells me he uses them for his uh, his, his laser and his um, flashlight on his, his ARs. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, those lasers will burn the hair off your arm. I've seen it done. They will literally burn the hair off your arm. So, yeah. But, yeah, so that that's where the whole mod thing came from is because people were taking stuff and modding it. You know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, one of the first mods I was out on the market was the uh, Panzer. And that is a clone... <laughs> of a flashlight made in China. Go figure. So, the pan I have a pan Yeah, it's a flashlight. Look it up on Google. It looks like one. Yeah, it's exactly what it is, man. It also looks like the hand of a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> the handle. Yeah. Now, the first mod that I ever saw was from totallywickedeliquid.com, and that's where I used to get all my shit from back in the day, because I've been vaping since 2010. There wasn't a whole lot in a way of vape shops or anything, so you had to get what you can get. And, you know, they were good. For the time, anyway. So, anyway, um, they called it a screwdriver, and it was like a stacked 18350 or something that was inside of it. It looked like a screwdriver handle. And I said, you know, what a piece of junk, man. You know, there's no way that thing's ever really going to do anything. And that was the first mod that I ever saw. But you used it. You know, their whole marketing thing was longer battery life. You know, I don't think they were really thinking too much about safety or sub-ohm or dripping or anything back in 2010. Um, so, really, the benefit you got was the longevity and the battery life. But back then, you know, the the e-cigs, the little sigalikes were automatic. You were the shit if you had an automatic sigalike. And um, all you had to do was pull on it, and then the light would turn on, and then the burner would just go ahead and work itself. But then we've evolved. The, they still button. have some. They still have some like that. Oh well, I, I haven't the, seen one of those in years. I think the blue does that. The blue doesn't have a button. It it it, it oh, does yeah, that. Oh right. yeah, son of a bitch! You are absolutely right, Roger. Yeah, I didn't think about that. But yes, you were right. Hey, come on, we gotta get some people in here, guys. Go get your friends. You know, we're gonna be oh, doing we... all kinds of cool stuff tonight. We need 150 people in here. Yeah, that's what I'm screaming, dude. You know, I made a promise and I plan on keeping it. Hi, Kim. What's up, Bobby? Hey, what's going on, Bobby? How you doing, man? I'm just sitting here doing a stupid freaking build. Never mind me. I'll be occupied with this for a second while I try to get the hot spots out of this. <laughs> Hopefully I don't screw this up again, because if I do, I'm not building parallels. The thing's getting tested on a single coil. That's it. Uh, see, I didn't see a lot. I didn't really notice vapors. Until my buddy, until I started vaping, really. Even when my buddy was doing it before I started, I didn't really notice that many people vaping. And then once I started, it was like everywhere I looked, somebody had a big mod in their hand. And a couple oh, yeah. people looked, 
walking around looking like they had lightsabers. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, you know, it's funny how the mods worked. You know, they, you know, they came out really big, then they went small, then they came really big again. You know, just kind of one of those things that just worked out that way. Um, you know, my first real mod was a Nemesis, and then I had that Nimbus sitting on top of it, and then I bought a Stingray. And I just kind of went from there, dude. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, look at that. Ah. 24 gauge parallel. Nichrome. 3 millimeter. Six wraps. Polo! Polo! Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, son of a bitch. Ow. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. Put this on here. See if I can't burn myself some more. Nice one. Yeah, why not? So what's going on, Bobby? Make any good juice lately? You see that? Five. Holy mother of God. <laughs> okay, guys, I do not recommend trying this at home. This will not be used very much, and I will probably take a couple pulls off of it for the purpose of a demonstration. God damn it. And maybe not. Okay. I'm just doing this for the purpose of a demonstration, and I will be ripping the build out of this. It will not stay in there. It is unsafe. I won't do that. But I am running dual parallel batteries, so I'm not overly concerned about it. <laughs> um, for this, I'll just use some Japanese cotton. Hey, man, can I get a pair of scissors? Hey, hold on. I'll right back. <laughs> yeah, the Stingray is nice, misunderstood. I like, uh, I like the black one. Yeah, okay, I'm back. Stop it. Using some Japanese cotton. I thought you were going to use something else. No, for this, I'm just going to go ahead and use Japanese cotton just simply because I'm going to rip the build out of it as soon as I'm done. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not keeping that build in here. I think it's dangerous. Bring it back to my cloud chasing days. But uh, let's see. Yeah. So, what I did is I promised my buddy Doug that I would do a review of his, um, of the Dreaded Vapors top cap, okay? And so that's what this is for. Now, the Dreaded Vapor top cap, the story behind this is back about a year and a half or two years ago before the Cloud Chasers, um, uh, RDAs and stuff started coming out. What people were doing is they were going and getting copper um, plumbing reducers, and they were using those um, as top cap replacements, drilling big old holes and shit in them, you know, and they were using those to compete. So I've seen a few of those. Yeah, and people still do it, dude. I mean, it's it's not something that's died. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because I don't know what the what the makeup is of that copper and everything else that's in there. So I would not rec recommend it at all, but eh, whatever. So that's what they were doing. Yeah, go ahead. So, um, Doug and Possum, primarily Possum, came up with the idea to go ahead and create this top cap, right? And what they did is that they drilled out the holes, engineered this thing, and just did all kinds of stuff. Man, this is a few months in the making. And so... Oh, hey, what's going on, dude? Long time no see. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That is absolutely awesome. As a matter of fact, we are going to have a booby juice giveaway tonight, and hopefully you get lucky and win some more. Yeah. Um, you 33, he won some, uh, booby juice and, um, I, did you win or did I give it to you while we were talking? I don't remember, but I do remember we met out there in the corner of, uh, North Rhett and Remount, um, at the gas station, but, um, I gave him a bottle of booby juice 
and um, he loved it. But, um, oh, if you're having video issues, what you do is you go down to the bottom of the screen, like mine's frozen up right now, hit the pause and play button, and then you should go ahead and be back at a live feed again. Okay. Why? Yeah. Ah, okay, so what is going on? What is going on? Video is locked up. Yeah, wow. You know, there we go. Ah, good. All right, so, yeah, just hit the bu hit the pause button down at the bottom of the screen. Give it a couple sec hit seconds and hit the play button again. That's not black, is it? No. No, it's not black. But, um... Yeah, so, uh, back to what I was saying. Do, 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 do. forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was talking about. I was talking about mods or cloud chasing or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. The no, you're talking about cap. This thing. All right. So, what they did is they made this. This is all one piece, three or four solid stainless steel that they milled, that had milled. And if you notice, the air holes are drilled in different diameters, starting off at three, going up to, I think, one and a half or one millimeters going up. And the idea behind this is that your coil is going to be at the bottom one. That's the reason why it's the biggest. And as the vape's coming up, it's going to go ahead and spin it. Right? And then that's the top of it right there. So it's got a big old wide bore drip tip, all solid one piece. Right? So out of that necessity, this was born. Okay. Nice. This won't be for everybody. I can tell you that now. What's a good cloud chasing juice I have? Something high VG. Do, 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 do. What do I have? 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 I need something high VG. High VG. High VG. High VG. Um, yeah, it's not going to be for everybody. I can tell you that now. Um, 90-10. All right, I got some cerealicious left here. Um, so the big thing is that... What I have noticed is that this top cap does not fit everything. Um, it's 22 millimeter, but not all 22 millimeters are created the same. All right, now I don't know if it's because of the O-rings. I don't know if it's because it's the diameter of the RDA. I couldn't tell you exactly, but the deck. The, the what I've noticed is a lot of the decks are built differently. Yes, yes uh, they are. Some seat, like some seat, all the way down, Angry. flush. Some of them seat on top. Mm -hmm. So I got like, you know, with all my RDAs, I've tried to actually mix and mix and match them, mm -hmm. and it didn't work out so well. So what I do notice, and this was built kind of on the IGO base. Okay, so I got my IGO MV2. Ah, let's go ahead and. Uh, Pretty damn evil. Say hi, Mike. That's the owner of Vape Motive. Hey guys. Hi, Mike. How's it going? It's going good. How about yourself? He says he's going doing good. How about yourself? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good night. Uh -huh. Better go to Fiji. Oh, what do you think? This stuff's good, dude. I've got a dual parallel 24 gauge on here, 0.05. And that first cloud you did actually looked like a face coming out of it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, this shit's this shit's evil. I love it. Okay. Yeah, I just found me a new wire, everybody. I Whew. Oh, I put him in my dashboard. 
Whew. brought some in the sample, and all the, everybody would love it. Yeah, dude, I, I, I gotta buy more of this. Okay, this is, uh, this wire, by the way, this is by Deviant Vapors, it's called Ooh Wee Premium. This is a uh, 24 gauge. It's it's like a G plat type thing. It's a really soft. It's a soft metal, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's the same as G plat. Um, I tend to get a little, bit, a little bit of a funky flavor off of G plat. This doesn't have that. So. Man. All right. That's enough of that thing. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, so, <laughs> oddly enough, this thing does get warm, all right? It gets warm at the base, but it doesn't really, I mean, you can feel the heat at the at the top, but I got a .05 build in this thing, dude, and I'm just going to town on this thing. And it's fine. And that's a 90 VG juice tall, so that's uh, cereal-licious. Um... Yeah, this, in comparison to one of my other RDAs, this thing is pretty tall. The Royal Hunter, that wouldn't be a good one to put it up against. Oh, you know what, dude? I'll put it up against this, um... Hot, hot. I'll put it up against this, uh... What the hell is this damn thing? Um, the Arctic. So, you kind of get an idea how big this thing is. I can't really... Ah, shit! Can't hold the base very long. It's hot. Anyway, so you kind of get the idea. It's as tall as an Arctic. So... I mean, it's a tall RDA, which kind of helps keep the vape cool. Um, so, you know. Hey, what's going on there? Harts. Harls? Harls. Harls. Hey there, Harls. Wow. All right. So, this thing, pros. You've seen what it does. All right. And it's got just the right amount of airflow. What I can't stand a lot is a lot of these um, cloud chasing RDAs out there. Just got these massive airflows on. Is he still smoking? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I can't stand those RDAs that just got this massive airflow on, where you get about a two second pull, and that's all you can do. Uh, the airflow on this, it's open, but it's just got the right amount of restrictions, so you can pull a good five, se five, six second pull. What? No, this is uh, this is dreaded vapor. Oh no, looks like the redemption RDA. No, it's not a redemption, but um, yeah. So the airflow is just right. It keeps the vape nice and cool. I mean, you see what I was doing at a point zero five. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. The only drawback that I see is that this thing is not going to fit all your RDAs. You know, so um, this was designed with an IGO base, and I'm using my IGO MV2. Here's my build, dual parallel, 24 gauge, 6 wrap. And it's not going to focus, is it? Anyway, that's it right there, 4 post design. Um, I didn't like my my um, Igo MV2 because of the air holes. It's 3 3 mil air holes on each side, and I could not find a happy medium there. So I just gave up using it and just never got rid of it. And I got this in the mail, and it fit right on top of it. I said, perfect. Um, yeah, the thing is sick, dude. It's just a top cap. All right, it's not the base. <clears throat> oh, hey, what's going on, Harley? Welcome to the show, man. Um, so, yeah. If what I notice is that it's probably it's a little bit too small for my dark horse. It's a little bit too small for my Royal Hunter. Um, if I juice up the the O-rings in a Royal Hunter, it will go down on top of it. Um, the dark horse, I did get it to go down on top of it. But the way that the uh, the base is with the bowl, um, it cuts off the, the very bottom air hole on this thing. You know, so you only get half that air hole on each side unless you pull the cap up a little bit. Um, you know, a little bit of sandpaper work or a Dremel will fit your favorite 22 mill millimeter RDA, and you'll be blowing clouds for days. Um, so that's what I think about the dreaded vapor. Um, if you're interested in it, go to www.alldayvapor. What's up, filters? Dot com. It's thirty-five dollars. All right. Um, it's a little bit on the high side. Um, the other thing too, when I talked to Doug, he said, "Hey, look, Clark. You know, you pull on it hard, 
which no windows here. <laughs> you take a hard drag <laughs> off of it, you take a hard pull off of it, you'll blow a huge cloud. Right? You loosen up a little bit, don't pull so hard, and you get the flavor. All right, and what I've noticed is that that tends to be true. All right, it's got good flavor for being a cloud chaser. It's got good flavor. Um, so I will be keeping that in my arsenal. I do like that. I like that a lot. And maybe if we're nice, I might be able to convince Doug to go ahead and do a giveaway. If we get some more people in here. I'm just sitting here rambling on about this shit. So, um, yeah, so that's that. All right, the wire. All right, somebody said I should do a review of this wire. All right. Um, yeah, it's nine feet, comes like this, it comes just like G-plat or anything else comes, okay? It's, um, it's, it's easy to work with, right? It's very easy to work with. It's one of those ones that's not springy, right? You bend it, it stays right where you put it, okay? Do this, do this, so there's no spring to it whatsoever, all right? So it's a really soft wire, it's easy to work with, you know, and you can bend it any way you want to, so... To get your coil nice and tight it's going to stay that way you push it together it's going to stay that way um the flavor off that thing it's 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 really good it's really good in fact you guys saw what i was doing with it um <laughs> it's no joke um it's ten dollars for nine feet i think it's 10.99 for nine feet here at vape emotive um they have a website but they don't have a whole lot up there because their inventory rotates so fast but what you can do is look up vape motive on facebook i'll put their facebook link up here um hook them up on facebook give them a call and let them know that you saw it live here on the wandering vapor show and they might hook you up with a nice little discount i don't know we'll see so Go ahead and check them out on Facebook. There you go. Their contact information is there. They're in Stafford, Virginia, like the sign behind me says. Um, and they do ship. And they have all kinds of cool stuff here. You just got to kind of call. I mean, you know, if you're ever interested in what they have here, let me know. And I'll tell you. You know, they got authentic rigs. They've got some high-ons. They've got Axis mods. They've got a plethora of drippers, all kinds of juice. Starter kits. I mean, this wire. So... Like I said, their, their inventory is constantly changing. So, what's new with you, Tex? Nothing much, nothing much. Not this week, anyways. No? Yeah. Oh, you know what, dude? Thank you, by the way. Thank you very, 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 very much. Yes. Uh, you get the other one, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other one. Oh, yeah, the King's Crown. Yes, thank you. I threw that in. Figure, figure, give you, give you a shot to. Cause you said you hadn't tried no King's Crown. No, I haven't really tried King's Crown too much, but this one, I've been kind of looking forward to. Um, yeah, here's my Royal Hunter. I did a uh, review on that last week. I still absolutely adore this RDA. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of flat, Bobby. Not as flat as the the G plat, but actually, no, that wire is not flat. It's just it's a round wire. It's not a flat wire. It's just very very easy to work with. I mean, once you bend it, that's where it stays. You know, you don't you can wrap it around and it doesn't bounce. I don't want to waste my wire, but you wrap it around and that's where it stays. You know, it looks square. No, it's it's round. You know, like here's that other coil, the one that I messed up. I mean. You know, you can go and do all kinds of stuff with this thing here and a pair of pliers and the cutters. And, you know, it doesn't really have an elasticity memory on it. You know, you just kind of where you take it and put it and that's where it stays. I mean, there's no springiness to this whatsoever. You know, 26, 24, 22, and 20 gauge. So, I mean... Yes, Jules. Surface area. Dude, that's really good, man. I like that strawberry shortcake a lot. Actually, I like it a whole lot. Told you. Yep. Oh, so I got this thing. Okay. I got this. 
I know a lot of people have been having problems with it, so I, um, Bobby, or not Bobby, excuse me, Billy from Pay Forward Vapors, um, sent that to me to go ahead and do a review on, so I'm going to build that probably tonight or tomorrow, play with it, see if I can get the thing to wick right, um, seems to be the biggest problem with those. We got a massive delay, dude. But it'll catch up, though. It's not too bad. About 20 seconds. Uh, so, no, it's actually less than that. I'm watching. I got both screens up. I can see I can see the, the Hangout, and I can see the the Vapors TV. And Trove seems to be, like, maybe five, six seconds behind. You know what? We are going to go on ahead, and we are going to have our guest come on. So let me go ahead here, and let's... Bring on the cotton man. Alright, so um Yeah, so what else do I got new going on? Um let's see, you got the goblin, got a whole bunch of juices. I gotta give a shout out to um 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 holy cow. Greg, Greg Bond. Bond. Bomb? Bomb. Bomb. Yeah, bomb. Great bomb. He sent me some juice. And um, this is really good, too. Um, I don't know where the bottle is right now. Guys, if you can see the inside of my bag, you'll understand why I lose everything I put into this bag. Um, I see how you can have so many glass bottles in there and not break them. Dude, this is ridiculous, man. Like, look, it's it's excessive. All right, I don't know without dumping everything out, but you see this? This is what I carry with me. It just goes to work, goes in a passenger seat of my car, you know, it's just... You got, uh, what is that, 250 mLs in that one bottle? Yeah, I got quite a bit. You know, let's see, I got two 120 mLs in there, and I've got a whole bunch of little ones, and just all kinds of stuff, dude. I bring two bottles with me. One bottle for my, my dripper, one bottle for my tank. Yeah, it's, um... Hold on a second here. I gotta go ahead and bring uh, Wayne into our hangout here. So, um, hold on. Let's see here. No, oh, cancel. Let's see here. All right. So, Wayne. Yeah, he is, Bobby. He is definitely a juice whore. Yes, I am. We I, all got to learn from somebody. Yeah, well, see, and that's the thing, dude. I mean, right, it, it, that's the thing I always thought was really funny is that you can go and um, you can go and smoke all the cigarettes that you want to with one brand and be perfectly happy with it, right? But when it comes to vaping, on the other hand, that's not such a case. You end up vaping all kinds of different flavors. And I always thought that was kind of funny. Because I, I, I stuck with Marlboro Lights. That was my that was my vice. And um, with vaping, I just I can't find a juice that I can vape all day, every day, consistently, and just be completely happy with it. Well, that's why I, I usually go through... You know, I'll take a 30 ml and I'll I'll go through that bottle. Once I'm through that bottle, I'll go through to a different flavor. Yep. Now, and now if somebody sent me a bottle or I decide to say, you know what, I found a bottle, tastes good, I found it cheap, whatever, and it comes in, okay, I might switch up. But normally, I try to go straight through the bottle before I before I end up uh, moving on to the next flavor. Yeah. There's very few flavors I'll, I will go back. I mean, well, there's a lot of flavors I'll go back to. But my favorite seemed to be the um, the butterscotch, the King's Crown. A lot of the, pretty much all the King's Crown. Thanks again, Jules. I love it. Um, this is a pretty high build that's on here, too. So, all right. While we're waiting for the Cotton Man to come on. Um, well, wait, wait. Welcome, Ark Redneck. Oh, I don't even see the chat. Hold on a second. All I see is the X split and what you call it. Um, I'm a horrible human being. 
All right, there we go. Um, okay, what the hell happened to you now? Okay, there you are. You rotate oh, 10 man. mechs and two boxes. Well, dude, I rotate six boxes. <laughs> I don't have any more mechs. Got rid of them all. Oh, what happened to my screen? Kind of got cloudy. Hasn't focused. And that's your camera, son. Yeah, so I'm rocking a .26 on the Royal Hunter today. .3... Okay, .3, I lied, .3. Alright, and this is... Oh, come on, stop screwing with me. .27. Alright, that's more like it. Um, I'm using Nichrome 80 on this, and I have 8 wraps, 3mm Nichrome 80. Ambi, how you doing? Welcome, Ambi. Two Addies, I have a lot. Yeah, I have a lot. Let's see, I've got the Royal Hunter, the Dark Horse, the Vulcan, and I go MV2, um, and I go W6. I've got a Patriot. Uh, what else do I have in there? I've got my uh, Freak Show. I gave away my Troll. Um, yeah, I gave him my total to, uh, Nate, actually, when we went down to North Carolina, he had a, uh, a clone little boy, and it was just, it was just crapping out on him, so, um, I said, hey, dude, you know what, I got this, um, I got this troll, and I'm gonna go ahead and hook you up. Hey, it looks like the Cotton Man's on with us. Hey, welcome send me a link, I'm on my phone. Oh, you're on your phone? Yeah. All right. I, I'll go ahead and send you a link to the uh, to the show. Give me one second here, bud. Through the email. Yeah. The one I said the party is over. What's that again? I got one while I got it. It said the party is over. Oh yeah, that was a different chat. Cause every time you open up one of these chats, it changes the URL. So. That was one before I sent it, and Roger didn't answer, and then he called me, and either way, you're on, so that's what matters. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to go ahead and do is... How's it going? Ah, it's going great, man. It's going wonderful, actually. Um, just got done doing a little review on a um, on a top cap, a cloud chasing top cap. So, um, yeah, so... You know, now, when you say top cat, you mean uh, the RDA? Well, I'm talking okay. about the cap that goes on top of the RDA. Oh, okay, I got you. Right. Yeah. So the little side story behind that is back a couple years ago, what was going on is people were going and getting. Um, hold on one second here, and please send to Cotton Man. Um. What was going on is people back, you know, a couple years ago, what they were doing is they were taking um, plumbing reducers and they were creating top caps out of them for cloud chasing. So um, right. and that's what kind of that's kind of what brought this on. So what they did, if you can see, well, you're, you're not going to be a boy. You can see it through the chat. So this right here is what they came up with. Yeah, I see it. You know, so it's got different size holes and a whole nine. It's 304 stainless. It's about the height, almost the height of an Atlantis. You know, so it's it's pretty big. But this thing, dude, this thing rocks, man. That thing is absolutely no joke. I got a .05 build on there right now. But I'm safe, okay? Got my sub ohm cell batteries in parallel. You know, so, you know, we're good there. Those batteries are dead now because of that, though. So... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, I took like... I, a battery killer. Oh my god, dude. That thing is evil. I, it does what That's it does. That's pretty cool to be on the walk right? What's up, Joey? So, yeah, so there, there's been some questions there, Cotton Man, and um, so what we decided to do is go ahead and start talking about cotton, different wicking techniques, um, you know, different types of cottons, it, cottons, cottons is cottons and um the pros and cons to them you know and i said well who better than the cotton man to come on here and help us well, kind of distill some myths you know get some truths so welcome well i'll try my best 
Thank you for having me on. Hey, no problem. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry I'm just on my cell phone, but anyway. Nah, it's fine. You know, there's a lot of us on our cell phones right lay, now. So. Lay a question on me while I try to figure out something. All right, so here's here's the big question, you know. Oh, um, okay. All right, well, I'll get right. So the big question is, is that the statement has been thrown around quite a bit. Cotton is cotton is cotton. And I don't believe that. Okay. Um, I can tell you there is a definite difference between using an organic cotton ball and using a piece of Japanese cotton and going to something like what it is that you make. So if you would, just kind of give us a give us right. a little bit about what it is that you do and what you make. Well, all over the cotton is grown all over the world in every region. Even in the United States, I would say there's probably five regions, but um, it's called the Cotton Belt of the United States. So it runs from California down through Texas, Louisiana, Nebraska, Mississippi, right on up to uh, Virginia, the Carolinas and Virginia. And all through those different areas are uh, different growing conditions. And different growing conditions give you different quality of fiber. So, and I'm sure it's the same in all the other countries also. If Japanese cotton is truly grown in Japan, then it has its own growing conditions. What I've learned is the thicker the fiber, the more heat it can take to find fire. Mm -hmm. uh, my angel hair is hot and grown in, in the world next to uh, maybe Egyptian or Gaza variety. Maybe a little bit uh, finer, but it is so fine that the report, I was getting feedback that you know they were catching it on fire. So they have not caught the just red on fire, and well, nobody's caught the mavic and select on fire that I know of. So uh, fortunately for me here in North Carolina, when I grow the cotton I grow, we have a tendency to grow real quick cotton. Yeah, the um. The Mavadin Gold, I believe, is what it's called. The stuff that I absolutely love. Where is that Mavadin grown? Select. Yes. That's great right here in North Carolina. Man, I, okay. So here's a little backstory for you guys. Hi, I'm at the Cotton Man. We were in North Carolina at Vape Slam. And, um, you know, he's out there selling cotton. And he had a bunch of samples out there. And um, I'll break those open here in a couple minutes and show you guys. But he had a bunch of different samples out there, and, and you know, I was talking to him. I was like, "So what's what's this? It's cotton, All right?" And so he started going through, you know, the different things that you know, the pros and cons of each one of the cottons. I said, "All right, well, can I go ahead and rewick?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "Well, I'm using a native wick, you know, and this stuff you just can't kill this stuff, you know." And um, so, um, hold on one second here. So I rewicked, and um, you know I had my standard build in here, and um, I was thoroughly impressed, you know. And I remember I told myself, "Well, I'm using native wick, and this you can't kill this stuff." He's like, "Then why are you buying my cotton?" You know. And I said, "Well, because I want to give it a try. This is kind of what I do." So. Uh, so. Uh, well, I appreciate you giving it a shot. Oh yeah, man. That dude. I tell you what, man. I'm at the point now where this is all I will use. Is, is you know my daily. I will go to my native wicks. You know, if I run out of this or if I'm running really low and I need to order some, which I'm kind of right now because this is all I have left. That's it of that one that I bought from you. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff, man. It just it wicks that's so what, well. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> you know. It, the, the thing of it is, is like like the native wick. That's what I have in mind right now. Having this wick. Yeah, it's it's so good. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and break this down real quick for you guys. All right, and just let you know what it is that I know about the different types of cottons that we use every day, and, and hopefully a cotton man can help me, you know, get rid of some of these myths. All right, here's a cotton ball unrolled. All right, and this is what we all pretty much started with was the standard right, cotton ball. Yeah. All right. And here's the problem with it, right? Mm -hmm. You see, you see how it all just comes apart and right. the fibers. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just there's no consistency there, okay? And what I found with this is that I was changing my wicks 
sometimes twice a day, you know, depending on when I wicked. Okay. And I think that the big problem with this is that the fibers just aren't uniform. It's just kind of spun together and rolled up into a ball. And there's no uniformity when it comes to ripping apart a cotton ball to wick your stuff. And it can't handle heat. It will always collapse on me. You know, halfway through the day it would collapse. And then it was, I was getting hits like I was having hot spots. It's because there's nothing in the middle of it to wick, right? Japanese cotton comes around. Right, and you know, you pull it apart. It does have, you know, nice long strands. Okay, and it's nice. It's convenient because you just cut off a sheet that you need, you know, whatever you need, and go ahead and throw it in your in your RDA and go about your business. And I was having better luck with this, and I used this for right. you know, maybe a year or so. Then I went to Native Wix, which I don't have any in front of me right now. Um, and what native wick is, it's a different type of cotton. It's a very dense cotton like what you have here. Um, and what you just, you couldn't kill the stuff. I mean, you really can't you catch it on fire, do whatever it is you want to do, blow it out, juice it and keep taking your hits. Um, and I was, I was pushing it really hard. Um, you know, cause that stuff was just absolutely amazing. And, um, then I found this, <laughs> I found the gold. And what I found with this is that it's not as oily. It can take the heat, but it, it wicks really well, right? There's like no delay when it comes to, to wicking. You know, you go ahead and juice it up, take a big old draw off of it, and the, the cotton kept up with keeping the wicks moist. You know what I mean? And you weren't getting dry hits off of it like you do a lot of times with, you know, other types of cottons. Um well, it gives you a warning, I believe. Yes. Yes. The other thing about this cotton is that if you're paying attention, you won't ever get a dry hit off of this stuff. Because what will happen is that right. it will go and um, it'll, it's almost like you have like a, a dying battery. right? And then you just blow a smaller cloud, a much smaller cloud. You juice up and you go about your business and everything is great. I've had no issues with any juice wicking on this, you know, 90% and down. It absorbs right up, no issues. So, Lynn, what's going on? So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, let's, how about this? Why don't we kind of go through the through the, your cottons here, and I've got a sample pack in my hand, and we'll start with the red um, because that's what you started talking about. Got, this is a just red. Okay. It's a red cotton. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about the red? Well, the red is a naturally occurring uh, natural fiber. They bred it uh, to enhance its characteristics of being red. And uh, they were trying to they were trying to grow uh, cotton so you wouldn't have to dye or use dye, but characteristics in the DNA of the cotton or whatever kept showing up and you would have this, these little white spots in it. So it never really took off commercially, so it's still available as a uh, as a novelty, mm -hmm. but it is, uh, it's even thicker fiber than the uh, Maverick Select, so it should hold any heat you want to put on it, no matter what it is. Yeah, I need to give this stuff a and try. I've had, it's kind of, it's, it's not user-friendly. It's still tangled up. I don't have enough of it to get it processed into that real uh, beautiful like, hair or whatever. You know, everything's in line. It's everything, uh, it's like angel hair. <laughs> so my angel hair variety is, is uh, like a sliver. Everything's. All uniform and neat. Well, if I had more red, I could get that process into that, but I don't have enough. All right, so. But it's a good cotton. But I know, uh, so it you can burn it. I mean, you can get a dry head off of it. When you do, you just will throw it away because uh, everybody says you can't get it. You can't. You can't overpower the taste. Hmm. Yeah, I would imagine. Does that make sense? Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. 
So, yeah, let's jump to the angel hair next. I got that pulled out since you mentioned that. Here's the angel hair. It's a very long, stranded cotton, and it really, it's like, it's like hair. That's exactly what it's like, you know, and it goes all the way through, and it doesn't break. All right, so um, I've used this in my um, in a .3 ohm build, and I had no problems with it until I sat down and my mod started firing, and I didn't realize it. So... <laughs> Yeah, I burned this up, but it did not burn in half. It just had a horrible really? taste to it. You know, I can so, imagine. You know, so was I didn't burn it too Was that Bye. No, I didn't. Was that OB or was that you know, just angel hair? This is just angel hair. But yeah, this is really good. And what I, I think what I see the big benefit of this, and I'm gonna go ahead and try it out with this um, goblin that I got in the mail to do a review on. I want to put this in there because it seems to me that this is probably more for, you know, maybe a half an ohm and higher, probably wick really well, you know. So I want to go ahead and put this in there and uh, see how it does. But, yeah, that's what I. Well, I advertise that as a of a. Oh, okay. Well, I can but tell that, you. I mean, it, it, it's still, it's still, it's cotton. It's just a finer, a finer cotton. I mean. Yeah. This stuff. You know, in the beginning, you have different, and that's that's not turning the world. Mhm. Um. Let's see here. And then that's the other thing I really like about your cotton, the way that you have it advertised too, is that you tell you know the customers basically you know this is this is what it's rated for, this is what it's best used for, you know. So it takes a lot of the question out. Well, I learned I learned that from you guys. I mean, people like you know that they would all work together yeah, to Tokyo, try to help. So we got a question here, Cotton Man. It says if I was okay. to pick my all right, you too, man. Have a good one. Safe trip. If I was to pick cotton out of my dad's field, is there a way to use it without it going to a gin? Well, the, map, the first map in select before it became gold was just hand-picked cotton that still had the seed in it. So if, he, if his dad grows cotton, he probably knows how to pull the cotton off a of seed. And you can keep it pretty much in line where you can uh, make a nice wick probably off of one seed. Uh, just, just kind of comb it out a little bit with your fingers and pull it off the seed and it should work fine. The only, the only thing I would uh, guard against would be you want to pick the cotton before any defoliant starts to spray on the cotton. And I have, uh, the folio the, the take leaves off and they keep track from being in that machine pick up. And that's some of the work no! chemicals that we still use today. Yeah, he said he's got a bag full of it at his, at his house. So here, guys, what I'm doing now is um, that seed that he's talking about, that's that cotton I just put up to the camera. And um, here's the seed. Yeah. <laughs> it's still so got if you put the seed cotton off, you... Yeah, you've got Mavitin Select uh, Gold now. I'm not pulling the seed out of it. Well, I take that back. It still has some short fibers in it. So in the Mavitin Select Gold, all the short fibers have been removed. Well, I can tell you this. Batman went and you know, he's like, you know, I wonder, you know, if this stuff is really treated or not, you know, as far as like, you know, anything other than, you know, organic. So he went and germinated one of these seeds and it's growing. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this—that's what this is. And when you order it, it you basically get a head, right? You just get the head of cotton. That's what I yeah, saw. Yeah, if you order cotton, what the Mavidin Select is uh, is head of seed, and the Mavidin Select double seed. And you can grow it. About fifty percent. Cutting out. Yeah, you're cutting out there, Cotton Man. Uh oh. Did you send me a link? Yeah, Wayne went ahead and emailed it to you. 
So if you want, you can go ahead and jump on off and jump on a computer or something and just go ahead and uh, hit that link that he sent you. Alright. You can go ahead and just... I don't see it though. Uh, he sent you email. Okay. Oh, he sent it. So... Alright, so yeah, so that that's some of the cotton the cotton man's got, and you know, the, the big thing about him is that this is his life, right? I mean, he's he's a cotton farmer, you know, that's what he knows is cotton, you know, and he listens to the vapors, the feedback they provide, and say, hey, this, this best works around this ohm range, and that's what he advertises it at, so, um, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, I saw somebody mention something about cotton bacon. I've never used cotton bacon, believe it or not, so I really don't have an opinion about it. Um, so, um, as far as cotton bacon is concerned, I really don't have anything to go by. But what I'm going to go ahead and do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and lower the camera a little bit and just kind of show you guys a couple different wicking techniques. What I've got here is my, what I've got here right now is just a standard, it's my six wrap 24 gauge. 0.26 ohm build with the nichrome. Okay, so what I'm going to end up showing is on Japanese cotton, just because it's what's the easiest to work with um, that I have in front of me right now for the sake of time. So, and they stole my scissors. So let me go grab my scissors real quick, and I'll be right back. So what's going on, everybody? Old fashioned organic or Japanese for me. Yeah. And, and that's fine. I mean, you know, when with the world with the world of vaping, I mean it's really all about preference. You know, there's a lot of people like Japanese, a lot of people like uh, cotton balls, there's a lot of people like me who love the cotton man's cotton. You know, it's really all preference. Um you know, so don't don't let me tell you that one is better than the other, and that's what you must vape. I wouldn't do that. So, anyway, so with the Japanese cotton, you just cut off the sheet that you need. You know, it's real simple. All right, then there you go. Slim, slim vapes the HEPA filter. The HEPA filter. <laughs> Right. And what I do is, you know, ball up the end, you know, just like you would with any other one. But let me just give a little dip in the mouth a little bit. Tampons <laughs> for that fresh feeling. Um, so <laughs> it gives you wings. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory how to throw, go ahead and put the cotton in there. But this is what's important. This is more for you, um, Tex. When you're going through and you're doing a standard build. Right, what you want is you want a little bit of pull on here. You want some resistance, right? But you don't want to have to fight the cotton. You know what I mean? You just yeah. want a little bit of resistance because this cotton is going to expand. <laughs> Funny, Jules. So the cotton is going to expand when it gets wet. Okay. So if you put it in there and you have no room to pull the cotton through, it's going to end up burning the cotton. Right. So that's what you know. That's what ends up happening. Now, cut off the excess. You know, I know my RDAs, so I know what to go ahead and do it to. But, um, what I do, okay. What do you got, an inch on each side? No, that's maybe, a, maybe in about a quarter of an inch off of the RDA on each side on the base. It looks much bigger than what it is in the camera, but <laughs> that's what she said. But, anyway, <laughs> what I do is I take it and I fold it underneath itself. Okay, and then put it down inside the base. Okay, like that. If you can, the camera would focus. See here, get a better angle. You see how it's folded up underneath itself, and there's that yep. air hole underneath the coil. Okay. Yep. So you do that on both sides. All right. Now the other important thing too is you want to make sure your cotton stays nice and fluffy. You don't want to go and and compress your cottons to the point because what ends up happening is that you compress those fibers and it's not going to wick. Okay. Cotton man's in the chat. All right, awesome. So, 
And there's that. Now, the important thing here... Focus, damn you, focus. The important thing here is leaving an air hole underneath her coil. Okay. There we go. Now you can see it. Alright. You want to leave an air hole underneath her coil. That's the secret. Okay. My first cloud comp that I went to was over at the Planet Vape. And, um... You know, my brother taught me that secret. He's like, dude, you want to leave air underneath your cotton? I said, all right, that's what I want to do. There was a kid there, and he had a freaking stupid little own build, but he wasn't blowing any kind of clouds. So I walked over to him, and I'm like, oh, dude. So I grabbed a micro screwdriver, and I dug out a little hole underneath his, um, underneath his coil in the cotton. I said, look, that's what you need. Right. So, um... He was like, thanks, man. And he went on to win the cloud comp. So, yeah. <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished. Okay. So, you know, this is the way I wick everything. This is the way, you know, except for my cloud comp bills, and I'll get to that here once we get to the cotton man's cotton when I wick this thing for the final time. Um, but this is how I wick. Uh, may not be for everybody. Some people may like to put the bed underneath there without the airflow, and that's fine too. It's entirely up to you. Again, it's all about preferences. So, you know, and then when it's all said and done, that's what it looks like. To me, I think it gets better airflow if you have that hole underneath. Yeah. So with this also, when you're when you're vaping, everything you do, cotton, your coil. The diameter of the coil, the type of uh, canthal or nichrome or whatever you're using, and the placement of the coil to the air hole, all that makes a difference. If you got your coil too far low, too far down, too low, um, it's going to be a cool vape. If you have the coil too high, it's going to be a hot vape. I like to leave my coil right in the middle of the airflow, right, and that's. It, it's a good mix. It gets uh, gets up underneath the coil, gets on top of the coil, and you know, and all is good in the world. So that's that's my wicking technique. I'll show you one more here, real quick, and then we'll go ahead and get Cotton Man um, back on. Now, there's another one that a lot of people like to use. A lot of cloud chasers. Um, Made popular by this dude named Steve Dorrington um, on Cloud Chasers Inc. And I basically call it a roller coaster. Okay. Because what you do, you go ahead and put it on one side like you normally would. Okay. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, wrap it over top of the RDA, and feed it through the other side of the coil. Okay. And I'll show you what that looks like. Right, so you feed it around, put it on top of there, and grab my little pliers here. Okay, and there's that, there's that. There's that. Okay. So basically, it looks something like this. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. I know you want to. All right. It looks something like that. I think you guys can kind of get the gist of the idea. And the whole idea behind this is that you can drip through your, drop, your, your drip tip, and it'll land on top of that bed of cotton, and it will go ahead and get your coils, and you'll be in business. And then all you do is you take the tails, snip them off, and then tuck them under. Now, a lot of people argue that this offers a lot of airflow to the coil, which when you look at the way it's on here, it, it's true. It does. It offers a lot of airflow to the coil. Um, this isn't – I've done it. I've tried to like it. I've, I've done it several different ways, you know, thicker, thinner, however you want to say and I just can't get this thing to perform the way that I like it. Steve Dorrington, on the other hand, that's how he wicks, and he is sponsored as a cloud chaser. But you see how it's open on the side over there? You know, so you have all that air in there. 
Oh, yeah. I'm just not a big fan of it. And it looks kind of loose on the end. Like, like the the tips aren't, like, the, like, on the other side, it looks, well, I mean, of course, it's just an example anyways, but yeah. it kind of looks like it's a, a, a little loose. Of course, you don't want loose because you don't want to burn the cotton. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that's a different, you know, that's another wicking technique right there for you guys. Um, I might try that one one of these days. You know, the same rule applies. You don't want it too loose. You don't want it too thick. You know, so it, you're going to have to play with it to get it right. Um, as far as using that wicking technique, you know, give it a whirl. See if you like it. If you like it, great. But, um, yeah, is, is the... Uh, just worked. Are you in They're the, trying uh, to get the cotton man site to work? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, those are the two most common ways, and then there's other ways too. Like if you were to build like a dragon coil, for example, what you do with that? I don't have one built. Maybe next time, next week, I'll I'll build a dragon coil. Um, but what it is is basically your coils are gonna set up like this, and they're they're um, micro coils and you wrap the cotton around them and you just leave one side of it open and then when you hit the button the vapor comes out both sides and it looks like a dragon breathing fire hence the name dragon coils the bow tie wicking I'm not too familiar with the bow tie wicking are you talking about just tucking it under that's what I do. So, hey, uh, Cotton Man, are you are you in the um the hangout? No, I don't think he's in the hangout, but I think he's he's just in the chat. Oh, okay. All right, so yeah, get in the hangout. Um, the other thing, when you're dealing with this type of dense cotton, okay, lost. Okay, let's see here. Hold on one second, there, bud. Yeah, Bobby, it does. It, it, you know, to me, it kills a little bit of the airflow up top, and I think that's why I'm not a big fan of it. Um, you know, I, I just, it's not my favorite. You know, if you get a three post, you can kind of wrap it around the post. You know, you know that would, you know, probably work pretty good too. Anyway, so yes, now what we were talking about the cotton that I love the most from. Um, the Cotton Man is uh, the Mavatan Gold Select. No, it's not it. I don't think I have that little label anymore. I don't think so. Anyway, it's a very dense cotton, okay? This is how it comes. It just comes like this. All right? It's very dense. And when you're dealing with a really dense cotton like that, you want it in there tight, okay? Because this isn't going to expand very much. So you want some... Um, you know, you can pull it back and forth a little bit each direction, but you're not going to be able to pull that wick out. Okay. You definitely want that in there nice and tight. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, and then, you know, I just take the excess ends, tuck them up underneath themselves, leave some airflow underneath the coil, and all is good in the world. <laughs> so I tell you what, man, we're gonna go ahead and do a giveaway, man. You know, I've been here. All right, guys. So here's the thing. All right, for those of you who've been around following the group for a while, you know, it's been around about a year. First of all, thank you, and you know, the newer members, welcome. But we used to do the speed rounds almost every week, and um, <laughs> yeah, I know I'm tired. Yeah, me too. Didn't get much sleep last night. Woke up early this morning. And uh, so we, Brian and I, would sit in a room 
at his house. I would build coils, and he would make juice. And we came up with booby juice. Okay. And booby juice was basically derived from mother's milk, hence the name booby juice. And Bree named it. She had to have it called booby juice. And I don't know if you guys ever met Bree. I love her to death, but she's got a very high-pitched voice. And when she gets excited, it gets even more high-pitched. So she's running through the house going, booby juice, booby juice. So it was named booby juice. Okay. So, um, yeah, it is some good shit. So we made it specifically for the group for giveaways. We didn't sell it. Okay. It was only for giveaways. Then when Misfit Vapors opened, that was a flagship flavor. So now, Misfit is going to be giving away some juice tonight on the show. They have since come up with other juices. We have Myrtle Manor, which is like a strawberry peach. There's a Nemi, which is like a mixed fruit. There's uh, Apple Jacks. There's all kinds of stuff. Okay, so um, if you haven't tried booby juice before, it's an experience that you must try. Um, you know, Bobby loves it. Piff loves it. I remember when I met Piff in person, was down there in Richmond during the last uh, vape convention, and um, I gave him some. And uh, Joe, you know, there's a lot of guys that absolutely love it. Uh, what's his name inside the group? Go freaking nuts over Doug. it. Doug, yes. And I purposely, when we did a Secret Santa, I purposely teamed him up with Bree because I knew that she would hook him up. So it's good. still something I have yet to try. You haven't tried booby juice? No, I have not tried no booby juice. Um, yeah, dude, it's it's dude, it's, 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 it's amazing. It really is. It's it's a like I said, if you like mother's milk, you know, if you were ever a fan of mother's milk, you have to try this. Okay, it's it's a bit brighter, it's creamy, you know, it's just it's just a really good juice. All right, so. What I want to do now is a third person is going to win a... Oh, too bad, Roger. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> um, is going to win their own bottle. <laughs> Joe! Look at that. Look at that, Joe Bass. Hey, look at that, dude. Look awesome. at that. All right, Roger. <laughs> um, you, you know what to do, dude. If you want booby juice, send a message to Trove Live with your name, address, booby juice from Misfit Vapors, um, and uh, your nick level. Thank you very much, Mr. Bass. Yes. If you are in Charleston... Okay, if you're in Charleston, please go to Mr. Vapors and pick it up. It doesn't make sense to spend six dollars to ship it five miles away. So if you win and you're in the local Charleston area, please go ahead out there and pick it up. So that was awesome. You know what, Joe? That that's that's definitely cool, dude. Now you said to Oh, on the Trove Live uh, Facebook page, right? Yeah, send a message with your name, address. Um, yeah, dude. I know you like King's Crown. Just trust me. Get the booby juice. And um, they'll send that over to me, and I'll get it forwarded out to Brian and Bree. Will do. And I'm assuming Slim609 is probably Bree. Oh, it's Brian. Okay. Wrong. <laughs> 80 20. All right. I'll make sure to make it 80 20. Awesome. So, yeah, man. I mean, there you go. Um, wrong answer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's how Booby Juice came into existence. Um, yeah. Guys, head on over to Misfit Vapors. I want to throw a link up here. Like their Facebook page, too. Um, give me one second. Um, let 
Misfit Vapors. Definitely go like their Facebook page. They do stuff all the time. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a great group. You know, it's a great group of people, great store. Um, and I will go ahead and put up their website also. So you can check out what else they offer. Yeah, they got tons of stuff. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, Misfit Vapors, dude, honestly, and it's not because they're my friends or anything. Um, but they really do have some of the best prices in Charleston when it comes to gear. Um, juice, a lot of the juice people don't realize the prices are set by the vendors, not necessarily price set by the by um, the shop. Some is, some's not. You know, I know like Suicide Bunny, for example, you know, it's $22 minimum cost. Otherwise, you can't sell it. Okay, so... Um, there's, when it comes to the shop state, a lot of times you there's only so much you can do. Roger, man, I'm digging this juice, dude. Thank you very much, man. I'm glad you like it. And it's one at, of my favorites. And you got rewarded for that. So, uh, with some booby juice that Joe Bass piffed to you. Yep. Cotton Man, you still in the chat? <laughs> it's hey, Walt. Come here real quick. All right. I don't know why we can't get you back into Hangouts. Hey, are you are you on the laptop? Okay. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to resend you the link through the IM. If you look at the top of the chat screen, there's a little thing there that says I am. I want to I am you the link back to the uh, thing so we can get you back in here. Also, we're going to bring in uh, Possum, the Dreaded Vapor. <clears throat> now, the reason why it's called the Dreaded Vapor, he's got dreads. <laughs> you know, so hence the name Dreaded Vapor, guys. Don't be going and copy down this link, please. Thank you. All right. Appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> let's see here, Cotton Man, uh, I am, there you go, yeah, it's been MIA for about six months there, bud, and, uh, you know, what's really funny is that he works uh, for Doug on Sundays, helps him out around the shop and everything. And Possum and Doug put this Dread of Vapor cap together. And my brother is actually good friends with Possum. So it's funny, you know, because they say that everybody's connected by three points. There you go. Yeah, 80 VG, 20 PG there, Tex. All right, he's back. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? All right, now we just got to get Possum in here, and we will be in business. So Possum, we go ahead and talk about his thing. But um, yeah, so there's, I mean, I don't know what else to say about your cotton there, Cotton Man. I think, uh, you know, I love the fact that you offer a big variety of different types of cottons. Um, you know, and you know they have different uses. That there's no, it's not a one-trick pony. Yeah, that's right. It's, uh, well, it's just through trial and error. I mean, I mean, one of the first, I thought the the angel hair was just a beautiful cotton, and you know, I thought it would just just be awesome. But it was so fine, it just had issues. And with the trying to use it raw, it had its natural oils and waxes. It's, it's got a lot of natural oils and waxes on it, which makes it feel so smooth and silky. But it's not good for flavor. So, and trying to uh, alleviate the flavor issues with the angel hair is when the organic bath was developed to remove the oils and waxes as safely as possible. And that is as inert as table salt. Mm -hmm. So there's just, just it's very safe. So why don't you tell us about the process that you do once you get the raw cotton, um, what you do with it to get it to the state that we purchase it? Well, it's, it's uh, Ginned, of course, uh, and it, it's machine pick. The only hand pick that I have is, is the Mavid and Select. 
Um, but when the, the gold was machine picked, there's just no way to uh, economically <laughs> pick it by hand. Trying to get somebody to even go out there and pick any of it is amazing but, and kind of difficult at times, it seems. But uh, anyway, so it's machine picked and then it's carried to a gin. And uh, my cotton was run because I don't have an organic gin in my area. <laughs> I, I ran it last, so all, everybody else's cotton went through, then it cleaned out, and then my cotton ran. And then it was sent to a, uh, a mill that moved all the uh, leaf matter and all the short fibers and broken fibers and that kind of thing from the cotton. Uh, excuse me one minute. Okay. And... Uh, so then that's how it gets into that, that form where all the fibers are in line. And I've got a, here's a piece of it. Here's some Madison Select Gold right here. Now, this is the OB. Mr. You put your hand on it. Yeah, that'll help. So, and it, it just lines all the fibers up and all your cotton balls and the cotton pads everything like that is a secondary fiber when they removed all the short stuff and the trash they clean it up again and sell all the short fibers uh to these cotton ball companies and cotton pad companies and they they buy it real cheap because it's the secondary fiber and then they make uh make the pads and the cotton balls and the fenomen products anything absorbent baby diapers all that stuff awesome so yeah that, i mean <clears throat> <answer> the question? <laughs> yeah i mean that's good stuff man i mean like i was telling these guys here is that you know your life is um you know just give me one second here while i work Try to work some magic here um yeah i mean like i saw the guys i mean you know your your life pretty much i mean you know you're a farmer and you you believe in your cotton you you know you believe that's in your product <laughs> yeah that's right and i've learned a lot i mean i've been in business uh i guess it's been 17 years now with cottonman.com and i think i might have told you at the show but um but probably your listeners haven't heard that how I got started about 18 months ago. Uh, a guy bought some of Navadin Select, um, which was just a hand picked cotton at the time. And he told me how good it was in his atomizer. And I said, Man, that is fantastic. But what is what the world's atomizer? So I didn't know what an atomizer was 18 months ago. But, yeah. Uh, so I've been, but he, he, he put it on a blog or something because when I got home that night, there was like 18, 23 orders that night for uh, that Maverick and Select cotton. And I was like, I need to find out what's going on. <laughs> so I went started going to shows and, uh, and I've met a lot of nice people and had a good time. And I think I've, I'm hopefully helping people, a lot of people quit smoking. Um, I was reading an article today in our local newspaper because it's really not here on the east coast well it is but it's not as heavy it is on the west coast but uh my closest shop is about 30 miles away and they had an ad in the paper how the, the medical the medical community is up in arms about the vaping uh and how bad it is with the formaldehyde and causing all these issues and I just wanted to tell the, the medical medical community that is up in arms, just go read the size of a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. It will give you cancer. So if you choose to get cancer by vaping, then get cancer by vaping, if you even get cancer from vaping. But if you smoke a cigarette, you're gonna <laughs> it's a good chance you're gonna get cancer of some sort. Maybe. Uh, my grandfather, he's a my cotton he was the original cotton man. He uh, he smoked and chewed tobacco all his life, pretty much, and oh, he wow. just died from a weak heart. He never had cancer. So, oh wow! I mean, I mean it's just 
you're gonna get taken out by something. It just it's just a matter of what. I don't know. No, I agree I, just with you. I didn't like the fact of what they were saying. Go ahead. No, it's. I mean, it's a bunch of BS, man. I mean. You know, if you if you look at a lot of those studies that have been done, you look at the people who funded those studies. You know, you'll notice they come from the pharmaceutical industry, or they come from the big tobacco. You know, so I, I you know I don't know I, I I don't believe it. I mean, I've seen plenty of studies done that says, hey, you know what, uh, vaping is safe. I've seen studies done that says vaping it has formaldehyde. You know, I don't know if it's a PG. I, I don't know. You know, but the studies really aren't crystal clear, and the ones that you do see, they're flawed. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the formaldehyde, it's like the formaldehyde doesn't take course until you actually uh, peak a temperature of, what, something like four or 500 degrees. You know, you're talking like super sub-ohming, you know, and that's probably, it's probably not even good quality juice at that. Um, that if something like that would it would happen, I mean, most of the stuff you can find, most of the chemicals that are in uh, va vaping juice and your daily use products. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, half these chemicals are in children's toothpaste. You know, so you wanna you wanna go and complain about that? Why don't you take the toothpaste off the shelf? <laughs> you know, they're they're complaining that well, you know, it's inhalation, it's this, it's that. You know, and, you know, they're trying to trying to tag it to something you know and um they really don't have anything to stand on and um you know so they're they're reaching they're they're trying you know no, yeah. i mean they have money that's the thing they have money and they can easily overpower i mean we have a say but they have money you know i mean and that's it, it it could go either way because there's a lot more people that are going to stand up for vaping you know, than big tobacco, but big tobacco's got a lot more money than all the people. You know, so it's, it's going to be a battle, and it's going to be based on uh, whether or not the politician who he wants to side with, whether he wants his pockets fatter or he wants pe more people to vote for him. You know, so it it, it it could go both ways. You know, but in the end, they really need to educate themselves before they talk about it because it's like you know you can't you know talk negative about something you know nothing about. Well, and that's what it is, man. It's a, it's a scare tactic. I mean, it's also, it's the it's the people out there that's got the money, who's putting the money, the lobbyists, you know, putting money in the congressman's pocket, you know, and they're going and voting on stuff and trying to regulate stuff that they have no idea about. You know, they have no idea. They have no clue. Yeah, I'm done. You know, so yeah, you can go ahead and take it off. Um, I mean, it, I told you they already got it in the school books. <laughs> saying that vaping, vaping's bad. Dude, you know, oh, dude. No way. Saying, yeah, they already got it in school books that's saying that vaping is worse than cigarette smoke. Oh, my God. You know, and that's... See, that, just, that, just, that just is an oxymoron. I mean, they're crazy. You could go to Los Angeles and just breathe into smog in Los Angeles or, or Beijing is probably worse than vaping every breath you take i would think yeah yeah you know i've been to california and when you're cruising down a highway you start looking into the valleys you can just see the layer of smog covering that bowl that yeah. everybody lives in yes yeah, it's, it's crazy you know it's just it's it's nuts but you know it's right, y'all were showing a build a while ago i don't know if you can Oh, we got a little quad coil sitting there? <laughs> Look at that. Damn, man, you're more high speed than I am. <laughs> more, uh, he, it is he's definitely up on me. <laughs> it's a battery killer. I don't even... <laughs> yeah, Cotton Man. Really? Look at you. Cotton Man's rolling the quad. Yes, yeah, man. <laughs> that was fun to build. I bet it was, man. You know, builds like that are fun. You know, yeah. if nothing else, they're fun. Well, I've enjoyed, I mean, just I, I just use zero. I'm not a you know a vaping person. Uh, like I said, you know, 18 months ago, I had to learn what an atomizer was, and it's just been a on Thursday night when I go and hang out with my friends and play cards. It's like smoking a cigar and then hanging out with you guys, or you know, it's just and tasting. I use a lot of different flavors. Um, as long as it's zero, I mean, 
I don't want to start something that I got to have with me all the time, you know. Um, mm-hmm. not, but if, if I smoke cigarettes, this is what I'll, I'll be doing. I was looking for another. Somebody sent me a uh, some coal art. Check this sucker right right here. You can see that. Mm-hmm. It's it's humongous. What the world is that? It's like braided wire. It looks like inverted bob wire. Oh, it's that braided wire. Nice. But he sent. It was just a gift from a friend. Um, you know, somebody that tried my cotton and liked it. Oh, that's and it's, awesome. Uh, the the coal is probably as big as a pencil lid. It's huge. You know, you talk about asbestos, uh, Amby. There's a building I worked in in Charleston. I'm not going to say where or who or why or whatever, but there were signs hanging up everywhere. Do not stir up dust and do not drink the water. And the water had lead in it and the dust was full of asbestos. And that was well, just a couple years ago. I've been drinking garden hose water for 31 <laughs> years. Yeah, you ain't lying. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with these people. If it's got lead oh, in it, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> but, hey, I'll tell you what, this Texas water over here, though, this Texas water is rough. I mean, it is rough. We go through, I've, I've worked at several properties, several apartment communities, and it eats through these water heaters. I, I, I mean, almost every prop, there's most of the properties I worked at, I was replacing two, three water heaters a week. Oh, mm. wow. You know, the water is just so, just so nasty. I mean, there's actually been, there, there's actually documentation where some houses, some communities in some of the cities where they actually, the fire, like you could light the water on fire. That's how bad it was. Dude, I remember Camp Lejeune, dude. You know, um, misunderstood. You know, that water out there in Tennessee. Now, my grandparents lived in the foothills of the Smokies in, Knox, in Knoxville. And I remember going out there for the summers with my dad. And my grandfather sent me down to the creek with a bucket and get some water and come back mm. up. Oh, you go out there and the deer is drinking from it. And it's just, it was beautiful. I mean, it's just, it, it was coming down from the Smokies, just melted snow. It was awesome. Yeah, parasites and everything else living in there. Oh, dude, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was awesome. Yes, Megatron. Well water is the best. That's what I plan to move to. I'm I've got my house for sale and I'm gonna have well water, I think. Oh nice. Alright, I wanna go ahead and try to bring possum on here. You know, with the chats and everything, I'm still kinda new to this, so just gotta kinda bear with me just a little bit. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, Camp Lejeune back in the eighties, it was actually killing people. The water was so bad, you know, and there's still a lot of lawsuits out right now. I mean, it killed babies, it killed children, it killed people. I mean, that, they're, they're, they're still investigating the water out there. It's so bad, you know, and it's just, it's out of control. Mm-hmm. Well, different parts of the country will give you different water, just like different cotton varieties in different parts of the country. Well, California's tapped out on water, so I don't know where they're getting it from. They sold all their water to Nevada like idiots. So I don't know where they're getting their water from now. They better figure out how to filter some water. Unfortunately, you reach me and I'm not here. Please leave a message and I will get back to you. He's not there. Uh Uh-oh. Did I just boot everybody out? Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> All right guys, hang with me there for a second while I try to get these guys back in here. <sighs> like I said, I'm new to this. Come on there, Tex, where are you at? All 
right, guys. Give me just one second here while I correct this. Anybody getting vape mail or anything this week? Anything you want to talk about? Alright, why is it not showing up in my thing here? It's not showing up. Yeah, it was an accident. Replacement coils, that's cool. Ah, uh, man. Oh, yeah, you're right, Amby. Our country is absolutely backwards with the stuff that they're doing right now. Let's legalize the stuff that'll kill you and the stuff that can go ahead and help you. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, technical difficulties. Please stand by. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. Horrible, horrible, horrible. All right, we're back. Well, in a right, chat, we it's not doing anything. Yeah, we're on the we're on the sh all right, we're on the show now too. Kind of. All right, good. All right, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I screwed that one up really good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What happened here?" And then uh, I could see the video of you. And I was watching, hey, I was talking to Cotton Man, and I'm like, and then you start calling me, and I'm like, why is Clark calling me? We're in the same room. And then I realized you dropped the call. <laughs> then I end up getting another call, and I'm like, what is going on? Then I get a text from you. It says, me and the Cotton Man are still in a group. So I found it. Here we are. We're good. So, yeah. All right, seeing as you're in here, Cotton Man, I'm going to see if I can instant message you, see if you get it. So let's go ahead and do something here. What do you think we should give away? You think we should give away some more uh, misfit juice, or do you think we should go ahead and give away some toke? I'd go with the toke. Toke? All right, let's do some toke. All right, self made vapes. Self made vapes, I believe you already want toke. Let me know if I'm wrong there. How come this thing won't let me? I don't know how to instant message on this thing. All right, click. Just double click the name in the chat, and then an okay. option thing will pop up. I don't see the chat anymore. Is that normal? You don't see the chat anymore. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not normal. You mean? Okay, he already won. All right, let's go ahead and do this again. Filters. Filters. <laughs> okay, Google. I don't know who Filters is. There he goes. Filters. Are you not on the Trove Live right now? All right, he's there. He's, he's here. All right, Filters. Here's what we're going to do, man. We're going to make this real simple for you. What we're going to do is head on over to tokejuice.com. All right, and I'm going to pull up the URL for you right now. That's not it. That's tokejuice.com. All right. Head on over here to tokejuice.com. Why does it say I'm a random chatter? Okay, I'll explain that to you here in just a second. Go to tokejuice.com. Now, filter. This is your choice. Okay, this is a choice. You can get five 20 mils of your choice of flavors, two 50 mils or one 100 mil, okay? So five times 20 mils, or two times 50 mils, or one times 100 mil, okay? Once you, once you pick out your flavors, 
from tochus.com. Head on over to Trove. I didn't have my paragraphs written out this time, and I apologize for that. All right, head on over to the Trove Live Facebook page. All right, which is right here. Head on over to Trove Live. Send a message with your username, your choice of flavors, and your win of either 520 mils, 250 mils, or 1 100 mil. And nicotine with your name and address, and we'll get that sent out to you. Please allow four to six weeks for the delivery. And um, I hope you enjoy. Also, if you haven't already, and I don't know why you wouldn't, head on over to the Toke Juice page, their Facebook page, and give them give them a like. All right, you know they sponsor us, and um, you know, um, you know, let them know that you love them, if they agree that you appreciate their win, and. Um, you know, they also have a, a waffle or raffle. It's a raffle page on Facebook. Uh, we can go in there and buy spots, and he does all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, 500 mils of juice, five dollars a spot. You know, and you can win a, a shit ton of juice for five bucks. And they post that into their Facebook page constantly, so you can just follow the link and go on ahead and go over there. Uh, recommendations like custard, vanilla custard. Um, their vanilla cupcake is really good. Uh, the strawberry cheesecake is really good if you like cheesecake. If you like that real bold natural cheesecake flavor, the strawberry cheesecake is really good. Um, and what else have I had from them? All their fruit flavors, all their juices, I mean, they're really good. Whatever it is that you pick because you like that flavor profile, you'll love it. So, Cotton Man, what are you vaping on? Uh... <clears throat> I got my quad coil on there with uh, some Marilyn Monroe from uh, Silver Line oh, here in North good. Carolina. And guess what? It's a cotton candy. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Dude, I have, I love, love Marilyn Monroe. You know, I really do. I love Marilyn Monroe. Um, yes, Filter, you can go ahead and create your flavors also. Sorry, I forgot that they added that there. Yes, you can. Um, my favorite so far that I've created on that site is 50% vanilla cupcake and 50% strawberry. Really good. Um, so. I'm going to give away a sample pack tonight, too, if anybody wants one. Oh, that sounds like a plan. Look at that. All right, no video. Video, or hit the pause button and then play i instant message you cotton man so i don't know if you're in the trove live page uh let me try stuffy so bobby okay how this works is the random what that does is depending on we say three the third random or the fifth random or the tenth random depending on what we're giving away and how many randoms you decide to do the last random is the winner. So basically, it's just a random chat that's built into um, built into Trove Live, where I can you know randomly pick people. You know, Roger, this is really good, man. But <laughs> hey, Cotton like Man, what's what's your flavor profile you got that you like? Just fruits. Fruits. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm going to hook you up with some juice. Okay. I can't find the chat or the instant messaging. I am a, I'm just illiterate when it comes to uh, this. I think you have to – see, you're on the Google chat, Google Hangout. I think you got to open another page for your uh, uh, Trove Live show. Oh, yeah. Go to uh, – When I do that, though, I get feedback from you, my you, hair. You, you, the show. you have to mute the Trove Live show. Uh, okay. Here yeah. I am, idiot. That's all right, man. You should have seen us our first show. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was <I> chaos. <laughs> I don't see right, how 38 people, you know, would go and stick around, you know, yes. and, and just watch the shenanigans. I mean, it was absolutely out of control. <laughs> Clark's talking to me. They can't hear me. I'm enjoying <laughs> it, hear me. Okay, I'll see the chat now. 
All right, so if you look oh, at the God. very top of the chat, you should have like a little cloud that says I am, and you'll have like a one or something next to it. Click on that, yeah. you'll be able to see the instant message. <clears throat> yeah, Bedrock is delicious, guys. Um, and that's another yeah. one from Misfit Vapors. Um, if you missed that link, I will go ahead and send that link out. Oh, also, he started a Facebook page. Um, so uh, the Facebook page... Um, I don't know what he's going to be doing with it, but, um, you know, it's there. Maybe he'll do giveaways. Maybe he'll come onto the show and maybe he'll do another giveaway. Rumor has it. He just might do that. And Stuffy, Stuffy, funny story about that is that she hates citrus flavors and she loves bedrock, right? So it's not a citrusy, uh, cereal vape. And also, her hubby, her husband, um, doesn't vape, but he vapes that. Two yeah. Can Slam is my favorite, I think, right this minute. What is it? Two Can Slam. It's like Free Loops. Oh, okay. Well, there's, the a couple, there's a couple people making it, I think. Yeah, see, the Cereal Licious I did a review on a couple weeks ago. This is from uh, Zulu Vapes. Uh, this one right here is, uh, as you can see, it's a Fruit Loop flavor. It's a 90 VG juice. Um, it's really good if you like Fruit Loop. Um, the Bedrock, yeah. there it is. The Bedrock, on the other hand, is a Fruity Pebbles, and it's it's pretty freaking dead on. It's, <laughs> yeah, Wayne. it's, cool. it's damn good. Wayne, I tried to get a hold of uh, Possum, but he didn't answer his phone. I ended up kicking everybody out of the chat and all kinds of crazy shit. Welcome back, Wayne. I am Batman. I am <laughs> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you should go ahead and give Bedrock a try there, um, Cotton Man. And uh, yeah, you're probably liking a lot. Oh, you're out on a date still. Well, yeah, I appreciate it's, it's you logging an, on. It's their anniversary. Oh, man. I'm sitting here sending him messages going, hey, dude, get this person in. Hey, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, their an, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a mixture. It's their anniversary and it's their the, his wife's birthday. Oh, wow. So it's a birthversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, you know what, Cotton Man is is volunteer to go ahead and give out a cotton prize. So, you know what, how many randoms do you think we should go ahead and do their text? Um, let's go, you know what, let Cotton Man pick how many randoms we're going to do. All right, Cotton Man. <laughs> Three. Three? All right. Third random wins a sample pack of all the Cotton Man's cotton, okay? Right. Random. I've got a surprise, too, coming. Random. I'll send that along with it. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't win, Texas. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sea Breeze. Sea Breeze. Isn't that Cool Breeze? Guess what? You just won Cool Breeze. You just won yourself a whole sample breeze. pack of Cotton sea Man Cotton. Sea Are breeze. you a builder? That's about the only way it's going to benefit you is if you're a builder. Or if you build tanks or wrap coils. All right. Sea Breeze. Sea Breeze. Head on over. Let me go ahead and get the link. This is going to be real simple. Is Head on over to the Trove Live page on Facebook. Send us a message with your win, which is going to be Cotton Man or Cotton, however you want to put it. And... Um, with your address and your name, and we will get that sent out to you. Yeah, just send. Uh, All right, Wayne. Send it on over. Again, please make sure you go to the Facebook Trove Live page. You know, send a you know a little note. I won the cotton with your name and address, and we will get that sent on over to you. Brown chicken, brown, brown, chicken cow. brown cow. <laughs> brown chicken, brown cow. Very welcome, Seabreeze. Mm -hmm. 
So, all right. And we got about 10 minutes left in the show here, and we still got one more giveaway to do for our Misfit Vapors. So, guys, hang in there, and we will get that. We'll get to that here shortly. Yeah, te text. I'm, I, I am impressed with this, man. I have to tell you. That's all I've been vaping on tonight. I got all the rest of this stuff in here, and I, it's, I've been vaping on that strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Good. I have to. I have to get you a big uh, a big bottle next time I I get my coupons. Yeah, man. You gotta go ahead and send me a guy's contact info so I can go ahead and um, reach out to him. Yeah, somebody in the group actually when I posted that 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 thing, uh, somebody in the group was like, "Look, send me the link." I sent him the link. He's like, "All right, I'm ordering right now." He ordered. Hey, whoever it was ordered like two bottles right there off the bat. Just I was like, off off of my recommendation. I think that was Zach. Yeah. And then actually, no, two people. Uh, Zach wanted, uh, I sent him a link, and then there was somebody else um, that I was going back and forth with that uh, that was uh, that ordered two bottles. Zach wanted the link. I sent him one. I was going to send him a bottle of juice. You know, I was going to, I was, I was just going to send him a bottle. I was like, dude, send me your address. I'll send you a bottle. I've had the bottle ready and everything. And he was like, oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. Just give me the link, and I'll order it myself. All right, so. Here's a question, good to Clark. Support the call. What's that? I said it's good to support. Oh the yeah, call. Most definitely. Uh, so Bobby's asking who makes the juice. What? Oh, the and that is Wickedly Hot Vapors, located in Plano. They actually have, I think, a couple of them. I think they have one in Richardson, but it's Plano, Texas. I'll post a link later, Bobby, on the uh, on the Facebook page if you want. So. Uh, there is a question. Yeah, please post a link up there because I'm definitely interested. And also, if they have any coupon codes, then you know definitely send them their, their, uh, our way too. And if I, it I would don't, be nice I, I, to give a group discount, we could probably send a whole lot of business over to them and stick it up in a discount or the uh, coupon codes uh, file. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to get a hold of them because actually the coupon I get is it comes on my. Uh, you ever heard of a five star rewards card? Yeah. Yeah, they have that, and so they send me. I was actually deleting the notifications in my phone, and I had noticed I had a, a notification for fifty percent off. Well, the day before, I was actually the day before I seen the coupon. I was actually about to order a hundred and forty ml juice, and I was like, "Oh well, let me wait. I have enough juice right now. Let me wait." And then I get this coupon the next day, and I'm like, "I ain't waiting." 50% 50, 50 off. I mean, I was like, hell yeah. I paid like less than $19 for 140 ml. Yeah, so, okay. I want to answer your question, Michelle. Uh, yes, decals are being made. Uh, I am having hashtag wandering decals made as we speak. In fact, Bree's going to be making them. Uh, so I'll be picking those up this weekend in Charleston. Uh, the other thing that I just stuck up to the screen is this King's Crown. Uh, bound by the crown. It's a six mil, so I'm gonna get a little bit of a buzz, but it's good. So I will I will be handing out the um, um, hashtag wandering decals. You know, ex you know, for you guys who have been around for a while, been sticking by the wandering vapor. Um, expect an IM. I'll be giving them out as prizes. We'll be sticking them with prize packs. You know, so everybody's going to have a fair chance of getting a hashtag wandering uh, decal. I actually want the hashtag wandering vapor. Huh. Because this way it stands out that people know it's a vaping group. Or it's va it has to do with vaping. If you just see hashtag wandering, I mean, we know what it means. The group knows what it means. You know, but when you're trying, you know, I mean, if I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on my window. Trust me, there's no stickers that normally go on my window, but this I will put on my window of my car. Yeah. And I'll, oh God, sorry, man. But yeah, I, 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 I want the hashtag wandering vapor. This way, people are like, oh, you know what? And then all they have to do is actually go in and hashtag wandering vapor. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna link directly to any post we've posted that has the hashtag wandering vapor in it. You know that's a very good question. The wandering vapor, um, the wandering vapor banner. All right, that's a good question, and I believe that the winner is uh, that rainbow one with the cloud in there. Let me go ahead and just double check the Facebook group here right quick. 
and see which one actually won. But I believe that's going to be the new banner. Oh, uh, you're talking about the spaced one? Yeah. The spaced that one, one got the, the 14 cloud. likes. Uh, the other one that I liked with the wandering behind it with the X got 13. So by one, one, the one, the, the space one is the one that won. Uh, so I do. that banner, actually, as we speak, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And, um, I want to change the banner now. I do really like that, that one that Chris made with the, the, the hashtag wander vapor in the back. I do too. I do too. Um, you know, I, I voted on that one. Yeah, I voted. It's it's my group, so <laughs> I get the right to vote. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I like this one too. But unfortunately, Chris, I can't say unfortunately, but Chris is the only one that went and actually uh, made made a banner. Um, you know, was... so you know, he's actually he made all of them. Now, this yeah, I was, one. I was trying to, but I couldn't figure out how. <laughs> <laughs> I had a perfect idea, everything. I had. A, I even actually downloaded this banner create app, and it would not let me. Uh, it would not let me save it. I'm like, you. Okay, it kicked me off. I deleted that app real quick. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you how to fix that. How's that? Use your print screen button. Oh no! I had it. I had it on my. Um, it was on my phone, because I was actually uh, out. I was out for the day, uh, running around doing stuff, and I seen that. Uh, actually, I think I was working when I seen that. Uh, I seen the contest go up. Yep. So the banner has been changed. If you guys want to head over there and check it out, yeah, it does look good. I like it. Uh, that banner that was made. Um, now, where is that at? Where is that banner? What are y'all talking about? Oh, the, the wandering, wandering paper. paper group. Yeah, you got to join oh, okay. my group here. I'll go ahead and send you a Facebook link. Put it up here okay. in, the, in the chat. There it is. Um, yeah, that one was actually made by Troy uh, Piff. He, uh, we, we pulled a Google image off of there, and you know, we thought it looked really cool, so we stuck it up there. Then I wanted to go ahead and put the Wanderer on there, so we pulled another image down. and um, So he Photoshopped it and put the Wanderer kind of going all over the place. So, yeah, I like that. Yep. So, yeah, that one's really neat. You know, I like it a lot. Um, actually, I liked all of them, to be honest with you. Um, but, so, all right, we got a couple minutes left here. So let's go ahead and do the third random here. We will go ahead and give away another bottle of Misfit Vapors Juice. Oh, I didn't know Goose was in here. Goose been so quiet. Bobby, congratulations, son. Bobby. Yeah, you know, sometimes a randomizer likes to pick people. The only one, the only win that I ever got off of this, off of Trove Live, it picked my name like three times in a row. And that was the last show that I could actually go on without being a mod, without being a host. So it was for uh, Venom Vapors. All right, so Bobby, you you already know what to do. You know you uh, you've had booby juice, so head on over to the Trove Live page. I will go ahead and put the link up here for you, and send us your info, your win, your preferred flavor, and your name and address, and we will get that sent over to them. And there you go. There's a Trove Live link. We'll get that sent over to him, and we'll get that out in the mail for you. Don't worry, Jules. The randomizer loves me, but I can't win. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Horrible. So, guys, I think uh, I think we ran out of time. So, uh, hey, Cotton Man, man, I greatly appreciate it. I uh, appreciate you doing a giveaway for the group and coming on here and, and cool. talking about your cotton and uh, – Helping us kind of debunk some of these myths out there that all cotton is cotton when it's definitely not true. No, he, want, he wants to know if he can have bedrock. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. Well, I think it's just booby do, juice, ain't it? It's a misfit. Do y'all have, uh, uh -uh. have an after party or anything? Or is this uh, 
you closing down shop? Um, yeah, we're going to end up closing down shop. Unfo you know, uh, okay. we'll, yeah, because i got to drive back up to Alexandria. But if you want to join a chat later on, I'm sure there's going to be a chat open where we can sit there and just talk trash for a while. You're more than welcome. If you want to join, we'll bring you in. Okay. Is that on your Facebook, uh, The Wanderer? The Wandering Paper? paper? Uh, what I can do is um, like my page with your personal account. And oh, he's, okay. he's already on. He's already on the group. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So we'll send yeah. you a message um, with the link, and we'll go ahead and pull okay. you in, and uh, we'll just talk some more shenanigans, just hang out and have some fun. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, thank you for having me on, and uh, call me anytime if you got any questions or concern about cotton, because I, I mean, if I can't, if I don't know the answer, I'll definitely find it. Thanks again, Cod man. Okay, right. you guys. Before we easy. go, I gotta answer this question for Bobby. He's looking for the house juices, so just give me a moment and let me get this link up here for him before we sign off. Let's see here, shopping juice. Let's see here, and there it is. All right, so we got Cloud97, Booby Juice, Apple Jacks, the Nemi. So those are pretty much your, um, those are your choices that you have. Also, Ransom Note and Myrtle Manor. So here is the link. All right, uh, Bobby, just go ahead and follow that link, and it will bring you right to the juices, and, um, Apple Jacks is really good. Apple Jacks is really good. Um, tastes just like Apple Jacks. So, um, yeah, again, you know, pick your flavor. Head on over to Trove Live and uh, give us your address, your name, uh, your flavor, and nicotine level, and we'll get that sent out to you. Uh, congratulations, everybody, on the win. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you, all the new guys who decided to come on in and join in the shenanigans and um, spend some time with us tonight. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. And with that, we are...